on this week's Webflow Weekly, somebody asked us if we can do this effect, this pretty sweet hover effect with Webflow. And the answer is easily. Let's show you how to do this within minutes. Let's rock and roll. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to another Webflow Weekly. Let's see how we can create this pretty awesome hover effect really, really easy in Webflow. So here's the site that we've set up and basically it has a very similar effect here when we're hovering both the image in the background and this nice line animation. Also when we're scrolling those, the next one kind of appear nicely. And let me show you how this is set up. So we have one thing here in the background that we call the image holder and basically has a lot of images within and they're all set up to take the whole page. Um, so you can see that this is kind of a fixed background that takes up the whole space on the screen. And we just have a lot of images here and all the images, their, their opacity is set to zero. Okay. So you can see if I bring up the opacity, you can see that we have an image here. Each of them has a different, um, a different class to it so that we can reference to it with our interaction. So this is where our image images are placed on kind of a lower level layer that's stuck to the background. On top, we have the text holder and each of these link holder has the text inside and also has what we call the white line. It's actually not white, but basically this is a div that's just right now its size is five pixel height and zero pixel width. And we're just gonna using the interaction, make it change its width to 100% and that's basically gonna animate it into a rectangular that looks like a, a line that's growing. So the only thing that's gonna change here is basically the width of the line. So let's see how the interaction is set up. So each one of those link holders has an interaction attached to it and they have two interactions. So the first one is mouse over. And as you can see, we've made a lot of different mouse over. So each link has its own version. Basically they're duplicated. So we have hover in and hover out for each one of the links. So each one of them is going to affect a different image in the background. So this one link one hover in has two things going on. First, the image and that's image number one is going to change its opacity from zero to a hundred. Um, so you can see that actually it's changing to 50, 50% 50, um, 50 opacity. And also a white line is going to change its width from zero into, let's see, size into 100. So basically this is the trigger and this is what's going to happen when we're going to hover in. And of course, when we're going to hover out of it, uh, no, I don't want to change. I just want to go see here, the hover out, the same thing is going to happen in you know, reverse. So the size is going to change from 100 into zero and the opacity is going to change from, um, is going to slide back into zero within half a second. So basically this is how the interaction is set up. And again, we've set this once and then we duplicate it seven, nine times for each of them to affect different um, image here in the background. That's basically how it's set up. And the other thing that we have here is while scrolling into view, we have, you know, when you're at the top, scroll in when you're, you know, uh, just entering the screen, 10% of the screen fade in. And when you're at the top, 10% fade out. And that's basically what we have to create the fade in interaction. And this one is actually set up as an interaction for the whole class. So I actually just created it once for the link holder, this class that's holding all of them. And once I've set it to a class interaction, I don't have to set it up nine different times. This is pretty easy. The individual hover uh, effects I did had to set up manually, but as you saw, it's very, very simple and just duplicating it nine times took just a few minutes to set up. So I hope this was kind of showing you how it's very, very cool and easy to create this fancy interaction that you can set up on your website for whatever use case you need to. You need to specifically just be creative with those basic interaction tools and basically you can create amazing, amazing things. I hope that was valuable for you. Leave a comment if you want us to create a tutorial on a specific topic here on the channel and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.